Oh boy, this could be really good. All right, first ball on the putting surface. Oh no way, that might have stayed on the green. Right hand side of the green here. This would be a good two putt. This is the one you're just trying to cozy down there, get off to a good start. Look at that thing swing. Easy now. At Riviera at the 10th with a nice birdie. Yes, sir. John Rahm, that's how you do it. Birdie at the first. The fairway, just 27 yards wide. And this one headed out to the eucalypts, the gum trees out there that sort of line the whole left side of the fairway here at 11. And then try and leave himself a decent number to attack this pin location for his third. That one's got to sit down. It does. Did have the option to do that if he wanted to. Drives this in low. This looks a little deep. He'll need to pull the string on it. And he did just oh, right. Wow, this is spectacular, John Rom. Did he? No, he misread it, Ryan. Just trying to make sure that he is not going to be stepping on Patrick Cantley's line. Etiquette. In a round hole here, this tee shot. Rahm has launched this super high. Yeah, he's got to start that down, down the OB line if he wants to hit his big fade. And, mm. That is the better side to miss it, though, with the yards here for John Rahm from the left rough. Good angle, this back left pin location. He can try and land something on it, chase it back, similar to that of Victor Hovland. Uh, you can hear those balls hitting that green. This is firm out here already. A spectacular shot again from Rahm. It's getting better by the minute, and John Rahm will have a great look to start birdie, birdie, birdie. The hat trick to start the day, and no, oh, a little misread there, Colin. Yeah, like I said, this pin position tucked all the way back up on top of this little knoll at the back of this green makes it really tricky to read. And Rombo's kind of like that too. He doesn't take any. If you can land it around about that 290, 295, you will catch the downslope and it will kick forward. And this one here for Ramanator, I tell you what, that is perfect. That's going to split the fairway. And one of the few right to left holes here at Riviera, they certainly have a few to give you that balance that Mark Dusbobic was talking about earlier in the program on a. To this particular pin location, if he flights it down, he's going to really struggle to catch that. Green edge flies this one a lot further. Oh boy, he's not going to be happy with that, Mark. Yeah, put a lot of taz on it, but just. Uh... And that's obviously depends on the pace you pick. Got to pick that pace first. How hard am I going to hit this thing? Decided to start that thing, boy, a couple balls outside the hole. Well done. Maybe about three or four paces to the right of this pin. Well, how about just take dead aim? Look at this. Oh, boy. Oh, just wow. caught the brow. Really? That is a really good. Going to have to get up and down, Colin. Yeah, with the green that really sort of tilts from right to left, I'm surprised that, as that one just narrowly misses, I'm surprised they didn't play a little bit more safer out to the right. But Definitely think about it. And no doubt. Outer. Yep, center cut. Beautiful stroke from John Rahm. Start this one down the left side of this fairway here and just let it fade back. Not a breath of wind at the moment. Absolutely perfect conditions. And this one is headed left. And second time we've seen that from John. Playing his traditional butter cut that doesn't cut. No, God, it came up straight right. Yeah. That is yeah, so that dead. is not. Get in the bunker what sometime. he wanted to do when you heard him say it directly, that is so, that is so dead. Now John Rahm made a mess of this 15th. Got to hit a flop shot here, and how aggressive is he going to be with it? Very aggressive, yeah, really aggressive. but still hard to get it within 15th the hill. And we talked about earlier, you know, if he misses a putt, he doesn't really take ownership of it. He kind of just kind of looks at it like, oh, I misread it or something like that. 
patients that are, is a little bit accessible if you're prepared to take it on a, a little bit. And from 166, there's not too many pins that John Rahm doesn't like the look of. Get lucky. Oh, this one's tasty. John Rahm! Total Rahmination at 16! Chiming in, walking us through this 17th hole, and our man on the ground, Colin Swanton. This one's headed left, Colin. Yeah, that's out in the tall gum trees down the left side there, trying to avoid that big, deep bunker down the right-hand side that Johnson Wagner just spoke about moments ago. Up that left side, really, the play here is to try and force it up that right side, give yourself a good angle. And this one, perfect. Yeah, that's a good lead. He's prepared to fly beyond this flag stick, but this is one of those whole locations up on top of a shelf. Really just want to hit the one hop stop, but this one's coming up well short. If it stays, oh, Alex, you got a kick forward from that first cut. He did well. That's a very good lead. Yeah, really smart play there from John Rahm to take a little bit of spin off it with those fresh grooves. And now great look for Birdie. Yeah. And we've seen a lot of that. The more awkward final hole, when you're trying to win a golf tournament on Sunday, this, this is a beauty. It is, and he's gonna be taken right at this target. I'm a little bit off on it, but his fade is just tailor-made for this. Shot shape fits him perfectly. Look at that ball run. He's gonna have pretty short iron into this green. That was beautifully done. Looks like yeah. he's looking to peel the cut as well with his second, Colin. Oh, that is his. Q call card there, that little butter fade. This one starts just at the pin, falling ever so slightly right. Looks good for Wade. He tends to hit these with pace. To the cup. Oh, he's gonna be mad. I'm looking forward to seeing his reaction. John Rahm now to finish with a birdie, 25 feet, 10 inches. Uphill he almost the whole way. Lead now at four this first share. Oh. It's a good putt though. Had it right on line and again, I mean if you're making birdie on 18. On Rob, fairway metal, you need to make four or better here or you are giving shots away to the rest of the field. You're absolutely right, and it's only 326 yards to the end of the fairway. Play 17 down. And that is going to just settle down a little. Adam Hayes talking about a 171, 172 land, so they're going to try and run something back. Oh, sit down. Sit, sit, and this sit, has sit, come sit, out sit, with sit. tons of heat. Not the worst leave over the back of the green to that back left hole location. Going to be chipping. He's going to be able to stop that into the hillside of the, of the green. Tell you what, this one is so much easier, Ryan. I think this might be actually a little bit of a sniff here. Oh, Colin being a prophet. Ooh, catches some hole, but then rolls way out. A lot of top spin out of that rough. Oh, is there any doubt? John Rahm to four under par. Time for the lead once again here at the Genesis Invitational. On the tee at two. Joint leader John Rahm now. Yes, he's joined the crowd with Matt Kuchar and Peter Malnati. There's a fence down that left. As you said, just 159, does play uphill just barely. See the, this on a nice looking line, just ever so slightly right. That also looks a touch long. Will it come back on? No, it's not. And as good as these fringes are, they are Kaikuya, so they can bounce a little on you. Oh boy, that hopped early. That hopped really early. Still really good pace though down the hill. You gotta just fault the Aaron T shot. You know, a guy that lives up there in the top five strokes gain off the tee basically his whole career. Driver's been maybe just as not much of a weapon so the last few rounds. And he hits it far, averaging 317 yards off the tee so far this season. Uh 
Uh-oh. And that one got away from him a little bit. Yeah, that's uh, overdid it a little bit. But uh, as we mentioned, that right side's okay. You can play from there. Well, you know, we've talked about the... Uh... This Rom now, his second. Well, Mark can probably speak to it here as well as John Rahm hits his shot. When you get those lies where the ball sits up in this Kaikuya, it almost brings in that flyer. And I can't help but think that Hoffman got one of those as we see John Rahm try and squeeze it on the right side. Pretty poor wet shot there for John Rahm. This one's going to be slow all uphill. It got airborne. Oh. He gave it a huge wrap and drills it past the hole. He'll have another tester. Boy, Rahm's had some par testers today. How was Steve Williams with the shorts on this morning with Adam Scott? Like, are you kidding me? Well, Rom does it again. Just the ideal golf hole, because obviously Ben liked to hit a little high fade. Probably more of like a forward, though, for that time period. John Rahm probably were lashing at a four or five iron. Land oh. soft in the Kikuya and then slides by the hole. Will it stay on the green? It will. Second par three play today. Come on, ball, disappear. He loves Get left to right pots. Yes, he just has enough. Another bounce back birdie for Rom. And the big fella once again to within one of the lead. So everyone just trying to hang in with Kucha right now, who's having his way with Riviera. So using the lower tee today, they get a tee up to the right on top of that hill. This is definitely the easier angle, I feel like, and it makes the hole just a little bit shorter. Green does work away from him. Dude, one more, same thing. So not a good strike there. John Rahm, after that missed iron shot, he's going to go ahead and pitch this one down the hill. I think he feels pretty invincible these days. You know, it's like, oh, I get bad shots, but I can still make up for it really quickly like with short game shots like that. And I'll see if that long birdie from Rahm can't generate his golf swing. He's missed right a couple times. Little club twirl there, John Rahm. Back in business at the six. Ron with a great look at birdie to get it to five under. Now, it's funny as you say that, because when I was playing with him all those years, yep. that was not the thing nope. it seemed like he cared about. But so it's really cool to see that yeah, change. All that time away, it absolutely is what he misses the most, is he absolutely loves the camaraderie of playing with the world's best. As John Rahm has done it again, Rahm, another birdie. So Rahm off the birdie at six. Yeah, just a layup hole. We got the big gaping bunk down the left, but this fairway, which is about 40 yards wide, is got a high spot in the middle, and the ball rolls to the left or to the right. And Rob from just 117. Can he go back to back? And he actually, that's been his crazy miss today. Has he had a zero putt today? Maybe that's the only thing he really hasn't done. Oh, he has! John Rahm from off the green at 16. And the Rominator to the top of the leaderboard at six under par. Birdies at six, birdies at seven. John Rahm in the lead at the Genesis. Usually the long hitters are going to go down the left side, and uh, there's two bunkers that sit down the right. It's 290 we're over left, we're left. Dude, what is going the on? one that, that apparently John's going to be left yeah. of. Oh, oh, oh. You know, we all hit some crazy shots. Well, Rahm also took one off the tree. Just can't miss this right. Anything right is going to go down something about 20 feet below the surface. That's just good caddy. It's a smart play over caddy. there. And the way he's rolling it, who knows? Firm approach here. This can run away from him pretty quickly. Oh, wow, did that scare the hole. It caught a lot of the hole. I thought it was going down. I think John did as well. I thought it was going in too.
I just squeaked it past Victor there. John Rahm, final hole of the day. From the fairway, leading at six under par. We'll try and get one more to close out his opening round. His last of the day, trying to close with one and post seven under. Greasing the edge, not going, but that is still a lovely round. That is a 65 to open this championship for who is arguably the hottest player on the planet right now, John Ross. All sitting down a decent amount. We can't get much of a visual on the golf ball. Just throwing this out there. Getting a nice bounce up the slope. It's going to have a lovely look for an eagle three. Two underway here at the Genesis Invitational. John Rahm, number three in the world. What a start. 65 yesterday. The eagle at the first did make bogey at the second. He's seven under with Max Homa. Two off the lead of Keith Mitchell. Off and running here at Riviera Country Club. John Rahm likely looking to peel a cut off the left edge. The shot shape on this hole definitely calls for a cut. That's what he likes to do. Very difficult fairway to hit. Looks like it's leaning a little bit. Yeah, just got it bleeding a little hard to the right. Going to be playing probably pretty low under this tree. Maybe try to skip it up the ridge. He's asking for it to go. Well, he's hoping to, to get down. Really costly. It was two under coming into that home stretch. Now John Rahm chunked that one a bit. Yeah. Little bobble off the face. Does it have enough speed? You can see those few little hops right as he hit, made contact. Certainly not trying to hit it over the back of the green there today. And with this bogey, John Rahm is going to fall two off the pace. This is another one. We've seen a number of drives get close to this green as well. Oh, he's picking it up. If it's peeling, this, can, this might have some giddy up behind it. Just doesn't get it cut in hard enough. See if there's any way he can hold the screen. Greens are about the same speed as yesterday. Interesting if these warmer conditions speed them up a little. Just outside of 25 feet. Here we see it hangs it out on the right side and you feel like it should break left, but it just stays there. Now John shooting a 65 yesterday. That was his 17th round in the 60s. You know, Already. obviously we got to watch all of John Rahm yesterday and he, he hit several weak short iron shots. Let's see what Rahm can do. Rahm also trying to get it up as high as he possibly can. And that landed maybe six inches on the green. Uh, right now, that's almost as good as you can do. I don't think we'll see a ball anywhere near the hole. A clean lie on the back fringe. Good try there. Yeah, that's all he needs. I think that uh, 312 is in play with anything else. Yeah, this one, I don't think he likes this one. This one's up the right side, might need a hop. Hot and good and over that green onto the 6T, and now you get then you got real stress. Way up in the air. So probably hit it to a foot, right? That's a smart play if it, it's if it a holds good shot. It stays on the back. Oh. 
It's cruel. That's unbelievable. Guys, these greens. Just the sound of them. You got to putt it. You need an elevator to get up there. Oh, 100 percent. It's so steep, this bank. That's not bad. Oh, that was a quick walk. Well, that's Riviera. There's a, that second shot was probably a foot from being perfectly fine. Birdie putt. Just long left here to just about every flag on five is no good. Well, he can start it just left of that flag and between the bunker on the left and the flag and just bleed it right on top of it. That was interesting. I think he was setting up to play oh, draw good. there. You I'll tell you good. what, this is aggressive. Oh, great shot. It's a great state of mind that he's in right now. Hasn't finished out of, out of the top ten anywhere he's played. Something tells me he doesn't think like that. I think you're probably right. Yeah, good try there. When you drive it like he does, kind of day in and day out, it's it's uh, you're never it, out of it. You, you're never out of it. It just makes things so much easier. But everything's constant. It's the same routine, isn't it? It's the same yeah. warm up, same approach. He's not having to change anything. And you should be rewarded with a short iron wedge to a flag today that you can attack. This one down the right hand side, you rarely see guys go down there. Oh, that's got to be careful. That means you can't run it on. Ooh, that's got to hang on. Boy, very lucky to not have that come all the way back down the hill, Frank. This is a big momentum putt, I think. Wonder how big that'll be. Great part save. Ole! One twenty nine total. I, I think she's still going to have a hard time stopping it. Just a sandwich. Yeah, even with that club, I mean, that, that's as good as he could have done. Landed it, what, a yard on the green? Yeah, I think that's a great shot, quite honestly. Yeah. John Rahm has a putt for Berta here at eight. This is actually a really good look. He left himself a nice little right to lefter. Not too fast. Get there. even on his round so far. It's just been tearing it up out here on this West Coast. Just working on that takeaway a little sort of. Yeah, he's got it going a little more Rainbow! outside. He wants to get it more outside, Frank, it looks like. So a this, few left, a few right. This looks pretty good here. Yeah, that one's right, right down the pipe. Need something you can spin, Frank. Let's go, Rambo! I'd have to travel. Great view to look at sort of how shallow he hits these. First bunker shot of the day for Rob. Oh, that's fantastic. That's mm. after this t-shirt that t-shirt he hit. That's a tough bogey Frank. Yep. Drops full back. Get in the hole! This one riding the wind going left. You're on a left, golf left. course. Mm. And the lie is not that great. A little, a little low. I was going to use the slope beautifully. This is going to get better. 
expect to come back down the hill. Should have. So currently playing over par. Mm. Three yeah, hundred is <laughs> three hundred and nine yards. Yep. It's amazing. Yeah, it's Frank. Every year. Hit a good one on nine. Oh, this one's left. It's another pull, Kurt. Yep. You got a good bounce, though. I think that there it is in the left rough, and I can see it from here. So we'll see. It's a four iron. This is out to the right. Uh, just going to bend on the lie. The pin is in the back, which is going to help a little bit. Yeah, he doesn't have much because of that slope coming in from the right here, Kurt. Yeah, I just kicked it left. That's not too bad, I don't think. Tough to make really good contact down there. Yeah, that's not too bad unless you take a bunch of risk and try to sneak it up that right side. Doing something, working out, working on his game. Get there. Oh. Having a little bit of a rough go so far. He eagled the first hole today, but since then, three bogeys, so he's one over on his round. This one down the right hand side might need to cover. Pushing the right, hey. Hit it good. Hangs in there. See? Come on. Just a hit of a forward press to get it on its way. That's what Riviera will do. I mean, it's a series of hard holes. He's showing some pretty good patience, though, today. I'm yeah. not going to lie. I mean, he's, he's had some opportunities. If he could, if he wanted to blow up Frank and get a little upset with himself, he could, and he hasn't done it. I think he knows that this golf course is one of those golf courses you just got to hang in on. Not the most comfortable tee shot, I don't think, from Rom. He's got to start it farther left because he does not like to draw the driver. Now, this one likes it. This one looks good right here. This is beautiful. Right into the sun. That's why he's reacting that way. He was unsure because of hitting that ball right into the sun, and that is really well done. And now to Rom at 13. Yeah, same yard. has really got a good opportunity to get one close here. Needs something go go right here. Okay. We'll have a great look. Stroke there. Back to even par on his round with that birdie. Good. If you have a little look at the leaderboard right now, McElroy minus six, Rom minus six. Boy, this one looks really nice right at it. Yeah, not too many have taken that line. And that should have kicked forward. Boy, he could get a really nice streak going here. Get some momentum into the house. Up the hill, right to left. Finally, keep hitting shots inside 20 feet. Maybe one of them will fall up dead. Little momentum, back to back, seven under. A little bit of a breeze into him, and that breeze is cold. 310 to cover that bunker down the right-hand side. He's not even close to it. This up the left, Kurt. Might have to get down. Yeah, he's going to miss it into the rough. That that bunker that Aaron was talking about, though, if you put it in that bunker, there's a huge lip on that bunker. Same problem. Can he stop it coming out of the rough? Yeah, you're not looking over your playing partner right now and going, yeah, hey, yeah, it's your turn. Please be good. Oh, it's on it, John. Can't see it. Hello. Cover the front. Okay. Good bounce there. Let's see if he can keep the roll going. Oh, that hopped bad off the club. 
Wow. Right off the face of the putter. Okay. Just trying to get all of a nine iron. So I'm bleeding a little right of the hole. Not much. Works back in. Maybe it's birdie time. You called it. On cue. Lucky call. Of course, it was Ryan. Pretty good chance. Baby. Might need to fade a hair. Landed in the fairway and is just going to stay there by about a yard. Well done. 232, 268. It's kind of a, a, a seven wood. Ah. Up to the right. Yeah, this is flared. Eight. That will be a tough oh. up and down. Oh. Oh. If it's what a break. Look at oh. this shot. Kirk, Thank did, you. Did that bank off the grandstand? Yeah, off the stands over there. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Oh, even he's getting a laugh out of that one. No problem. How about the back nine he's playing today? Just a low dart kind of fading up the right hand side. John. Now he had those trees in the way. Had to play it left. Little ridge up to the front of the group. Shows you also how good that shot had to be. Yeah, that was fantastic. He had about the size of a dinner plate to land that in to get it close. Good ball. Oh. All that work, that turnaround, and it'll leave this green disappointed with the bogey. Start for Rom. 219. Usually so good from with these clubs right here. And this is another great looking shot. Oh, yeah. Well, it's going to be even better than Cantley's the group ahead. There you go. That'll be for Eagle to start for John Rom. So it could have been a three shot swing. Yeah. So final group has played one hole and now we've got three at the top of the leaderboard at 10 under Rom, Homa and Mitchell all sharing that top spot. Uh oh, now he did this the first day. Kurt put it up over there. I, he backed off that tee shot. I'm wondering if he was thinking a little bit potentially about that. I think sure. It looked like it hit that big eucalyptus right there. Oh, this one out to the right too. Kind of squirrely came out of there. Yeah, just left it open. All right, back here to Rom. Kind of dug in. Yeah, it sure did. But under the hole. But there's some break to this. One of the bright spots this week for him. Well, everything's pretty much a bright spot, but he did mention yesterday he's very happy with his putting here this week. Fairway also tilts to the left. It does. If you get it too far left. We're left. We're left. Remember the this drive at two. This is problematic. 
Oh, the, as good a line as you could get in this burned out long Kikuyu. That's from 138. It's going left. It stays up. So. That was pretty cool right there. And the next shot's better than what we think. Rom to save. Get away with it. So one under on the round. Big number of FedEx Cup points already hauling in 550 at the Century Tournament of Champions with an elevated event. And on the attack here, as he works the fourth, bringing it in from the top half of the green. And what a beautiful. All out on the course. We're going to go to the play at the fifth. And a rare miss down the right hand side for John Rahm. But a decent look at that angle with a nine iron in. Currently tied at the top, Dottie at 11 under. Another beautiful iron shot. That to take the outright lead. Could this be the first birdie of the day at five? How did that stay out oh there? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that wasn't a bad putt. Maybe just a, a slight misjudgment of the speed down the hill. Didn't come back in. But when you stand on that green, you just feel like everything is going to break so hard to the left. If there is any wind, it should be off the right. That's correct. Stay short of it. Come on. Stayed short of the central bunker. Go out to the sixth. Thank you very much, Jim. John Rahm for perhaps his third birdie of the day. Beautiful sixth hole, 194 yards. Very famous here at Riviera. Um, not unexpected off to that great start. He ties Max Homer at the top. It's, uh, it's Rahm. Thank you. And that will play well. Starting to warm up out here. Ball should start to fly a little. The entire golf course goes down toward the sixth green behind him, actually. Uphill. That's good work there. Didn't drive it particularly well either of the opening rounds. Yes, he was down the bottom end of the field in uh, driving accuracy. Just 14 drives left. But that one looks perfect. Get out of that divot. Yeah, good angle as well. And John Rahm second after a spectacular drive. Just a sand wedge left. It will, however, play four yards up, and you have to control the spin. Have to. Settle down now. Spectacular shot for John. And he had to spin back another foot or so, and that's off the front. All right, come on, make up for that little one you missed back at five. Yeah. There you go, John. Yeah. Tied at the top now with Max, 12 under. It's cutting like that's going to be the destination. Oh, yeah, that's a beauty. Hasn't hit all that many fairways so far this week. Had a few misses to the left. We saw one at two today. I think he likes it. And why wouldn't he? Meanwhile, back in the line, here's Rum. What a birdie. To take the lead alone at 13 under par. Out in 31 has taken the lead.
Oh boy, I want to see. I wonder how that's going to be. Good lie. Needs to land this ball on the upslope. No margin to mess with to the right at all. Well, he went to safe side. <laughs> so much on Rahm's plate this week. Chance to go back to world number one. Certainly took his time and that was in the lead. That lead might be tied. Been a little better as this round has gone on today. Ramen noodles, baby. That might need a little help to hang on, Ian. It's more his shape. Yeah. Let's go, big bro. Go get some. Room to work his cut in from the left. Should flight it reasonably low coming out of here. It did take off low, cutting just toward the left side of the bunker. Oh, well, that stopped quickly. Spin. Sensational shot there for John Long. He is just absolutely crushed. That's going to be a storyline for a lot of this season, the way things are shaping up. It's good, Doddy, yeah. having a little bit of a battle there with these players. Agree. Good birdie. Started to head back into what little breeze there is. Touch cooler again. <coughs> you there, Rambo? Go on, swing it. Okay. Come on. Boy, that looks so good. Wasn't it? Mm. Just down smashed down there. some pretty thick earmuffs on now to hear what's going on on the other side of the golf course. A tricky one here up over that ridge. John called it a U.S. Open pin when he walked up here. either way. That starts left, not giving it up, Frank. Yeah, he actually well, look very, very carefully. When he's trying to hit a draw, he'll actually yeah, put so the, come down. the driver head a good three, four inches behind the driver. It's just a seven error. The lie is perfect. And a wide open look at it. Breeze in. It's speedy, not a lot of break into that corner. Grabbed on him. Oh, that's a delicate putt. That was a good view of the strike. Oh, yeah. Clutch. Sleeve here, Ian. This with six irons, though. Wind has just laid down a touch. May not need all of it. Okay. You know, I know that's 30 feet away, but it's not far off where they're aiming. Not bad. Helps with the confidence. I would say. Uh, Overall, John's speed control putting isn't quite as good as Max's is. A lot of the times you can point to that. Will you let Mrs. Zacchino know that I'm a great listener? Yes, I will. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> With the exception of the 10th. Yeah, that's going to be off the short grass. Starts at the center of the green. It's trying to fall right. Uh, see him come up 
a bit short here so far in the second nine. So many of those have been high finishes. Hit on the down slope, and then runs up the hill. There's going to be a lot of movement on this putt too coming up. There you go. Pops it in. The lead by one, heading to 16. Want to carry that front by at least a couple of yards, though, where it's a little flatter to land. Two players full. He's gone for the knee bend too, so he wants to pop it up. And his idol Sevi would be proud of that one. Really cool to see guys take such big swings. This is one thing I love about this guy on the short putts. He doesn't take any of them for granted and goes through his entire routine. Four under par means he's tied for 18th. At 17. Oh, hold on. Another one left. Kind of similar to 13 there. Yeah. Great angle here. Baba Bowie! Little tracer by track man there behind the flight. Look perfect. Seems happy. Yeah, right where he wanted it. Middle of the fairway, straight up the hill. 99 yards. Remember, he uh, he's looking for numbers when he was trying to lay up in meters, so he's done a really good job of getting to his number. Try and use the little backstop I was talking about. Spin it back. Here it comes. Don't give up on that one yet. Just keeps feeding. We've seen this all day. This is why putting from long has been so difficult for these players. And a bunch of balls on the green in two. And if this goes in, let it be a great lesson for how to work the numbers. But after a poor tee shot, you're still not out of position after two swings to make birdie. That's crazy. Hit it soft enough that he thought it'd take that break after watching the other two. Amazing. Just the tap in for par. As far as they hit it, these guys come to the par fives thinking some troubles. This should suit as I, I would think, Dottie. It certainly should. The signal is good. Going to hang in. Okay. A couple of yards off the fairway. Just means it, it shouldn't bite on the first, maybe not even on the second bounce. Give it some space. Just barely left of it to start. Gonna run out nicely just below the hole. Here it comes. Birdie! The Rom at the 18th. so he doesn't run out of runway. And this is a six iron. He can hoist this straight up in the air if he wants to and get this thing to come down soft with a cut. Uh, this one's flared out to the right a bit. It's a good miss, as you would say. Southern California, you know what he's done at Torrey Pines. Uh, 
Oh boy. Not a way to swing it. Follow that with Tracer by Trackman. Way up in the air. And good. Up on top, there's a ridge that he just flew it on top. He'll have a great look at Bernie. Okay. Stays at 16 under, and Homa has some work left there still to stay at 13 under. Down the left center. That's absolutely fine, but he's going to have uh, Homer in his. Difference in the lies, maybe. I think uh, Max Homer also has a Johnny Miller stat. He's three in California. And Watson. Oh, Tom Watson, excuse me, yes. That's got to sit. That's one of the ones that can come out hot when you kind of give it that stab in this Kikuya, Frank, and it did. Get in there. Oh. There we go. There we go. <coughs> well, opportunity for a two shot swing here, guys. Yep. Yeah. Bogey free round yesterday, that 65, so it was first of the day here at three. Two under on this hole alone. How do you birdie this hole twice? Wow. Let's go, Max. That's exactly where he needed it. This might be the best tee shot of the day when it's done rolling out. Really impressive. Had to have landed it right on the number. Come on. And I misread that one. This one looks good here, Frank. Excellent tee shot. Trying to fade. This is left. Not his best, but still no damage there. Uphill putt. Goes to just staying patient. Mm. That was six. And get the release Ooh, up to the top. Got to get up. It's good now. Right under the hole. He'll be putting uphill as well. Good tee shots all around there for that final group at the sixth hole. But this club has worked out well Ooh. so far this week. And that broke a little more than he thought. So he just wants to get a good number out into the fairway. More reliable iron in hand. And about the same distance as we saw. From Mitchell, just a little bit less. A bit of encouragement there. Now, Rom, 157 yards coming into seven. And that one, just to the right of the flag. Excellent shot. 
This is Rom for birdie to break the tie. 15 under. And in. So after Homa hits to join him at 15 under, Rom once again. Now Rom at 18. Has missed a lot of drives left, Dotty, here during the week. We're out at the eighth with our leader. That's a sand wedge on the way. Difficult to control. Oh, what a shot from Rom. Played it perfectly. Come on. There's some shine on these greens. They are quick. And what a what a birdie for Rom over at the eighth hole. A little bit of separation now. This ball holding its line. Center cut. What does I say? Drive it straight <laughs> just like that. The good line to start. Oh, hi, Dottie. This will be a blow to Homa. Just got a little bit of momentum. He's going to hang up and off. All right, so home of the low man in that group for the first nine. That's 33 for Ron, 32 for Homa. And Mitchell, if he makes his par putt. This miss and it is going left. Predictable. It gets so quick through transition. He used to get lucky. Got to go. See, this is what I was talking about. That'll feed all the way down, and it is going to be an extremely difficult up and down from there. This is more difficult than the shot he just hit. But he's got to be perfect. Clipped it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Just 306 yards. Got to sit. Good job there. Really good job. That will be for bogey. Oh, wow. yeah, that is huge. The last play to bird to bogey 10 on a Sunday and go on to win. Mike Weir. Has yet to hit this fairway this week, Ian. That's going to need a big old bounce off a eucalyptus tree to find the fairway. A little bit of heat in that one. That's cammed over into the left trees. Well, he got away with some there, Dottie. He did. He needs a low hook around the little corner of that eucalyptus tree. Five wood. Not turning in. Not turning enough and not finding the bunker. So that'll be a much harder pitch than the bunker shot. Wow, that went high. And unfortunately for Ram, just over that bank Dottie was talking about. And will be his 10th PGA Tour victory. Dies hard right now. Way to blow five. Very good lag effort. You should have to say these designated events, Jim, have been a fantastic success so far these last two weeks. Good par. No three putts for Ram this week. Leads the field in putting. Tied at the top. Big tee shot for this guy. That was not going to be left. It's a too far right. Got a terrific bounce. Great bounce back into the fairway there. That's huge. More than it was yesterday at this point in the proceedings. Good contact and a nice, nice line to start. Easy. Back to back beautiful swings from Rom. Appreciation for history is something I've always admired. That credential that he wore back in 92. I asked him last year a visit down to uh, 
His home down in Florida, his home office still has it. First three putt in 103 holes for John Rahm. And man, how things have changed since the ninth hole. We are back live here with John Rahm. Very high and going left. You have to get lucky there two days in a row, Frank. It looks like they so got have it. a swing, yeah. but a long way left. So Homer found the trees. Well, he followed the directions, Trevor. It's right at the middle of the green to start. Well, that's a great strike. It's a shame. Expecting a little more ground roll out of that. From some 60 feet away. There's more slope in this back left corner of the green than you think. Shadows. Add another layer of difficulty. A little wide of the mark. Not this time. Six iron just in. This is more to the left, very solid. That is the safety zone, long and left. It starts bouncing early, it's going to run out of juice. It's fighting the screen, it's also fit, it's fighting the whole canyon. How about this? There's the wall. After a long birdie putt at the 14th. Rom has yet to hit this week, has missed left all three days. He's looking that way again, Donnie. This is out to the right, not turning over at all. Okay, it'll be down in that little gully that separates the left and right side of the screen. Just like he did at 12, his first putt from similar length came up about that far short. Oh, yes. In the hole! What be the freaking number? Come on. Style in here. Oh, predictable says it's good. It nearly predicted a one. Two shot cushion going to 17. 10 under on the par fives this week alone. You're going to again! That is up the left side and cutting, trying to find the fairway. That smoked absolutely perfect. Nice, firm, peculiar fairways. And that finds the mayor's office. That is out towards the center of the right bunker. A slightly better angle, Trevor, than, than the one from Max. Good safe shot, well played. would have all but sealed the deal. Still a two-shot lead headed to the last, as well as he drives the ball. But we've seen a number of two-shot swings today. That ought to get the job done. Got a little caught up on that left side. Trickles 
into the fairway. That is not going to miss left. That's what he had to do. Rom now three putts to win. And he'll only need two. All it took. It's all about John Rahm. Right now in the game of golf. Five wins in his last nine starts. Thanks for watching the PJ Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.